Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm happy to give a little update about a life update and also take you through a peek through of my Hobonichi. So let's go ahead and give the life update. I'm going to insert some photos of my little buddy. His name is Benson. And um, we, we received him on Saturday and today's Monday. So he is eight weeks old and he is a bundle of cuteness. Um, he does have his surgery scheduled in four weeks to get himself fixed and I'm hoping that with, I'm hoping that he doesn't go through any type of change before that. He'll be 12 weeks old at the time so um, I'm still using this pouch. I really like it because what I've been able to do is put the photos of Benson in, in them for the ones that I haven't put on for the day. And these are a little bit too big. I did print them on sticker paper and I printed them on just normal, but um, so I can even get crisper and better pictures if I size them correctly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Canva and use their photo, like their photo feature. And I'm going to um, do smaller photos and just kind of line them up. And when I have a full page, I'm going to print them all out. So let me take you through my Hobonichi. I haven't put stickers on it yet, but I did make some of them out. And this, I'll let you see the ones that I made. It says Summer Vibes. This is like a mini head. And it says, like, it's just like a take me away. Fun fact, I don't care and I can't people today. And the book was better, which is always true. Um, I also cut out this pink Care Bears and I cut or printed this out from Pinterest. Now the what I was like I was watching Claire from online and she gave me a lot of inspiration to use this because I received this this month and because this is a spring start edition I'm not gonna go through and mark anything from February. I already have another planner that I keep all that in and so I'm gonna use this as my top fives and I'm probably going to end up using, um, so I have to like write them out, like what's my top five 80s music, 70s music, what's my top songs of today, like what's on my, what are on my top five Spotify lists and stuff like that. And so let me tell you the story about how we got Benson, but, and also give you an update on this book. Now for the month of April, because we're like almost done with April and this week is going to be May. I may or may not utilize this. I'm definitely going to put Benson's birthday in here because that's something that I need and I think it's important to keep. He is such a beautiful cat and I know that we've waited several years for him. We had to wait until we were ready. Not only like, like I wanted, we needed to make sure that our hearts were ready. We had, um, animals that that we we grow old with we never depart once they enter our life they're our family members and so we have to make sure that we could devote fully you know to a full time to a to a kitten and this kitten was was going to be my kitten it wasn't going to be um like my husband's or my daughter's now I know that the kitten can pick his favorite people but what we're trying to do is imprint him to be attached to me and it seems to be working he is like he's just so adorable oh my goodness I just can't get over how cute the little guy is and he just comes up to me and I make kissy noises and he lets me kiss his little nose he just like comes up and lets me do it he's so cute and he's he did scratch me pretty hard because we have um where his box is at the, just because we have everything in one room to make it easier for me. And I'm in that room with him. Unfortunately, his litter box is in front of a mirror. <laughs> and I didn't realize that during the night he would see the shadow. And for the first 24 hours, I just like put him in front of his food, put him in front of his water. And I like carried him back and forth to the box because I didn't know if he knew where to use it because he wasn't using it as on his own. 
during the day, like earlier that day. So at night, I think he saw my shadow and he like freaked out and jumped off and he gave me two different claw marks and I have to make sure they just don't get infected because I, I don't think he, well, I don't know how this cat scratch fever thing is. And I also have a low immune system and I'm sure he does too, because he's a new kitten. So he's going to be indoor kitten only. And right now we are just using some prevention medicine for him. Um, I think like deworming and flea just in case, like we're just treating him just in case of anything. So, and we're also trying to help build his immune system with some, some healthy food. So I'll just like keep putting his photo up there so you don't get bored. But anyways, for, I think I'm going to use the monthlies as they're designated to be used. Um, and I want to color code. So that's going to be something that I start to do. And then for like the monthlies that are in 2025, other than January, I'm not going to use these. So what I'm going to do is turn them into something else, kind of just like I did, like the top fives. I got that from Claire, but Claire from online, that was not my original idea. I got the inspiration from her. So like I'm going to have three pages in which I can do different stuff in the monthlies or four because it gives me through May. This, it really gave me a lot. So I went through and also from Claire from online, she had this Tombow list and this is the updated 2024 list. I also tried to like draw the dragonfly, but I really am horrible at it. So it didn't look good. But what I did was I had a wish list of tropical, just peachy and the purple blendables. This is all that I have. And I don't know if you can tell, but I do have that cool gray color right down there. So it's 108 colors, I think, of all of their colors. And what I went ahead and did was, since they were having a flash 30% off sale, which saved me $19, which was the pack of a Tombow, I essentially bought two, got one free. So I did get the Tropical 10-pack, the Just Peachy 6-pack, and the Purple Blendable 6-pack. The Tropical 10-pack also has a marker, um, a Fudo Suko marker that comes with it. So I'm going to have a lot more colors that I don't have on this. So that's going to give me more blues, purples, peaches, and greens. So I'll have that. Then I did set this up. It's like track and list, and I said to myself... Don't ever feel obligated to track or record everything. Make this book fun, draw, glue, and write out things to remember. Use your markers and pens to make the pages come to life. So I just use that little sticker of the books. And on the daily, like this represents daily, this represents weekly, this represents the monthly, and this is the tracker. So if there's any of the days which I don't want to back plan, which there are plenty, like this was a week I didn't want to back plan. So instead for this week, I did the Tombow. I did the Tombow and just used it for that week. For this week, I gave myself an idea of what I could do visually for art um, on the daily pages, what I could do for like lists on the daily pages and visually on the weekly section and the monthly section, like all the stuff that I would like to keep a track of. And some of the ideas I got from other people, but some of them I've already been keeping track. So I wanted to like kind of mark if I want to get um, creative that day instead of like keep a traditional week. If I want to be have a creative week, kind of like I did this, here's my section of what I've written down. So here's my functional section. And then like if I want to be creative, I would do like a faith or art, or mix the two of them together. And plus I have more topics to include, so this list is not done yet. Um, so that is what that looks like. And then I haven't started, like I didn't do this at all. So I think I'm gonna go back though and do this because it will help me with the schedule that he has. And so what I'm doing now is I'm trying to do my best. Now I know if you have any and if you have any suggestions, please leave them. I do have a best friend that um, she, uh, let's see, what does she do? She, what does she do? 
fosters kittens. That's what it is. She fosters kittens or used to, and then she also adopts many of them and takes them off the streets and does the um, tip and release program. So she has been a wealth of information on helping me with this little kitten. So I want to thank her for all of the help that she's giving me. And I know like she has a bigger place than I do and she's lived in her home longer than I have. We have a rental and it's, and it's temporary and we're going to be buying a new house soon. So we're going to be moving. And when we move, we'll have his permanent stuff and permanent places. So for now, everything is just like up in our room, which is the size of a big living room. Um, it's huge. It's very, very huge. And so we kind of use it as like an all in one place and it does have his stuff up here. And so I've try what I want to do is I'm trying to get him to have a better sleep schedule because it's like having a newborn baby guys. It's like a newborn little baby and he's sleeping right now. And I really would feel bad if I disturbed him because sometimes he'll go up behind my pillow to sleep. And that just kind of tells me he wants to be left alone. He wants up high because my battery reclines and it's like up at the top. Um, in the recline position. So he's like sleeping on top of my pillow. It's so cute. Like the Lion King on top of the perch or like the top of the mountain where he's on top of, you know, the world and they're all down below. So that's kind of where he is right now. But I wrote down his, his like wake and eat and play schedule. And what I'm going to see is if I can adjust some things during the day to get him to sleep better at night. Like I said, it's like having a newborn we are up every two to three hours because he wakes us up because um, I don't like, I don't want to get in the habit of feeding him at night. Like I don't want him having food at night, especially if he's had the recommended uh, measurement for the day. I don't want to give him, to, like, I don't want to overfeed him. I definitely, I play with him. Like I played with him for three hours. I sat in my chair and I played with him for three hours and he, we do a lot of different things where I can exercise his hunting skills and he exercises his body and he, we don't need like a huge place for him to play. So as he gets bigger though, and as we move, definitely he'll be playing and we'll put, um, what I want to do is like put carpeted shelves up on the wall that we used to have for our other cat years ago. And, they used it as a perching station and they could just jump up and be up high and watch things um, from a safe place if they wanted to. So that's what I want to get for him. But for now, he's just a baby. So, <laughs> and like, I keep looking at him and do you remember that? I don't know if it's like a meme or something, but it's like, I'm just a baby. And like this little girl says, I'm just a baby. And that's all I can say about his little face. And every time I look at him, I say, oh my God, he's just a baby. <laughs> So I did put like his sleep, he's sleeping now. So I did put a sleep schedule and it is true. You can't do any, like I shared a, a photos on my Instagram so you can go over there and see him, but he won't let me journal. He has got to be like on top of my journal. And I think I, I'll put a photo of that up above so you can see that too. So that's what I was keeping in this. And so from here on back, I'm going to do a creative, either a faith or some type of art with those two and then keep like what I'm doing hourly to try to track his schedule. Now I did go through and write down the eclipse and only because number one, I found a sticker for it and I printed it out. Number two, I was part of the eclipse and we experienced it ourselves and I wrote about it and I also put it in my other journal. So I definitely wanted to track the eclipse in here and the next eclipse going through the northern um, or the North America with the continental United States is going to be August 23rd, 2044. So that's going to be in a different area than where we were at. And um, the one that we were at, I think it started in Arizona. I don't know. It hit through Texas and then it went up to Maine. So if you're in those like that line of area, you were able to see the total darkness. Now we were able to see the total darkness and it was cool. So I found something that was like 
I know it wasn't the glasses, but I found something on Pinterest that I thought would be good to collage on this page because I don't have anything I'm going to journal on this page. So with this, because it was pinks, like I kind of just wanted to keep the pink theme. So I printed out stuff that I liked that was pink. So I have like the X's and O's, which is the I love you or kisses and hugs the heart or the eye that's pink, the sunglasses for the eclipse. And these are stones, they're heart-shaped stones. And then I did this like telephone booth that's pink and then this retro car and think happy thoughts and then like pink hearts and then pink flowers. So I did collage it and in this, because it's Tomo River paper, I didn't want to use Elmer's glue, um, like, the, like the kids glue, I didn't want to use that. I wanted to use the craft bond because in the other glue I was able to like peel stuff off in another book that I felt like I ruined and it was Tomo River paper so I definitely made sure that I used the craft glue and then I just kind of did this spread. After I did this spread I started scrolling through Facebook and because I joined a group um, that I've been in for quite some time with animals that are free in my state. Now I am one of the people that, that says adopt, do not shop. Um, I didn't shop. I didn't buy this little guy. Like I didn't pay a breeder. Um, the situation was she is going to be getting her female fixed after um, she weaned and make sure she's not in heat. So she had the female and she did not. For some reason, unbeknownst to me, I don't know why I didn't really go into detail, but she did keep the cats clean and healthy and they were kept indoors and they were, um, she played with them every day with her children. So she made sure that they were well socialized, but also made sure that the mother cat took care of them first. So he knows how to groom and do all that stuff. Um, which is important because he stepped in his caca. Like he stepped in his poop last night and he jumped everywhere. And we were like, oh my gosh, there is literally like shit everywhere. <laughs> and it was all over his foot. And so I got him a warm washcloth and I put him like on my lap and I put his little foot up and he spread his little toes, his little, like now I know like people call them bean toes because they're like little beans. They're so cute. And I took the warm washcloth and I cleaned off his foot to try to stimulate him to clean that area. And it worked. Like he started falling asleep. And then I was like, you gotta, you gotta groom yourself, buddy. So he woke up and he started grooming himself and he um, doesn't stink today. So he did get his foot clean enough and I was able to change um, my clothes and everything. But I do have photos of him on me when we got home. He refused to leave my side. He didn't want to eat. He didn't want to drink. Of course, I was concerned that he was going to be dehydrated by the early morning if he didn't drink anything at night. So he didn't get dehydrated though, but I was scared. And the reason why I came up with his name is because, well, I went and saw the kittens and I specifically wanted a male cat just because my history with male cats, they were very, very cuddly, very loving, very, very, like they were just, um, calmer. Um, definitely he is a kitten, so he's going to be all over the place and I want him to exercise. I want him to get that energy out before bed, but he's also a big cuddler. He loves to cuddle and he wasn't afraid of my daughter's dog, which was really important. He just looked at her like, hmm, what you going to do to me? I'm up in somebody's lap who I don't, don't even know. I'm just going to fall asleep on her chest. So that's what he did. He slept on my chest all night long. And, um, <clears throat> he didn't know where anything was, of course, because we had to like buy everything that night. So the song Beautiful Things by Benson Boone, because when I was like, he, he was faced the, let me see. I don't know why I got a notification. So he was facing the wall when I looked at his other siblings and he was the last one that I picked up. And when I turned him around to look at him I said oh my gosh he's so beautiful that was the first 
adjective that I used to describe is it adjective? Yeah, adjective that I used to describe him. He was beautiful. And um, so when the song Beautiful Things came on by Benson Boone, I looked at my daughter and I was like, what do you think about the name Benson? And she said, that's kind of like for an older cat, don't you think? And I said, well, he's not going to stay a baby forever. And if you want to call him little Ben or Benny, you guys can. And so she's like, yeah, I like it. So we named her, ben we named him Benson and he's two months old. And then I did like, my pictures are a little bit too big. So I definitely have to definitely for, for the next week, I have to resize all my pictures so that I'm not wasting so much paper and so I can journal more. So this was like the, the end of like the full completed day because we got him this night and then this was like the fullness of that day. I was able to get some photos of him. Not sure if you can see these clearly, but I was able to get some photos of him playing with the toys that I bought. I only bought two toys, but I found my craft bag of, and he doesn't chew it, so these are safe. I found my craft bag of all of these um, wine cap bottles, <clears throat> and he loves them because they roll on the floor, and they like they make a little noise that he likes, and he just like swats them around the floor, and because we don't have carpet, they roll. So I have so many of these, and the, if he starts to chew on them, of course I'm gonna put them away and put them up so that he can't have them um, because I definitely don't want him eating anything that he's not allowed to eat. So I did this. I'm, I have more pictures to put on today, um, and, but I have to reduce it down. And then for like these spreads, what I wanted to do was just collage, what it, like collage what I wanted to get done that month or like things that inspired me. So <clears throat> for part of this collage, of course, I'm going to do a cat, but I'm going to do um, something that I want to get for him, something special. I also want to get my friend, it's my friend's birthday this month. So I'm going to like, like do a birthday cake and just kind of do things that would be, that would represent the month of May for me on this page. And then just kind of journal out. And if I don't journal on that day, it's not a big deal. I can just cover it with a quote. It's not like, it's gonna, <clears throat> it's not gonna ruin my book and I can go back to it at any time that I want to. And these pages in the back, I'm not going to do anything with them for now, but we'll see what I think about doing towards the end. I probably will do like my 100, but I don't know what the topic is going to be. It might be like my 100 favorite foods because I like more food or have a variety of more foods than I like TV shows or I don't know. It could be my movies. I really don't know. And so let me, like, I know I can't share his video today because he's not going to be on video, but I did share all of the photos of him above. Thank you guys for watching my content, for subscribing. This is not dirt. It's, um, I'm in, in the video, it's going to bother me too. It's from doing wax seals and I put the hot little, like the melter thing on it and it, it's like an, it's like ash but I can't get it off. I've tried. It's like down into the thing. So that's going to bug me every video. So thank you guys for watching me, um, listening to me and seeing how I'm going to use my cousin. And as I fill it up, of course I will do weekly flips and I will clip together the parts that I can't show because they would be too personal, but go on and Find me on Instagram if you want to see more content on Benson. I might even do his own Instagram um, page. I'm not sure. I might just do that and like set one up just to, just because it's fun. He's so cute. I can't get over it. It's like having a... Oh, yeah. And one other thing he loves doing is I used to be the mom that wore her babies. Like before wraps was a thing. I used to make the wraps. And I wore my babies. And... um. I wore my babies like all day long and I'm wearing him <laughs> and he absolutely loves to be worn. I don't know if you've seen the cat Chase on YouTube. Um, I can't remember their YouTube channel, but he also <laughs> was in a baby carrier and I just thought it was so cute and it popped up. It happened to pop up and was recommended to me. 
after I had him and talked about carrying him. So yes, I think my phone's listening to me and all that. And it's recommending some stuff for me. So I will see you in the next video, guys. Thanks.